and welcome to the Business Spotlight. Today we've got an exceptional show for you, and the reason is, is that I've got a, a good friend on the show. She is a very successful speaker, author, coach, radio show host, and probably a neurosurgeon at night, but <laughs> Judy Hoberman is selling in a skirt. In fact, I've never seen her in fair pants. Judy, thanks so much for being on the show again. Thank you for having me, and you won't see me in any pants, just so you know. <laughs> well, I know that's part of your branding. Absolutely. But I would love to know how this developed. How did you become the lady that's always in a skirt? Well, there, there's a couple of different things that are going on there. First of all, <laughs> I came through 30 years of actually being in male-dominated industries. I was the only female. And so I had to you know, take mental notes and figure out how to get things done because everybody that was mentoring me were men and very successful men. And I learned a lot, but I'm not a man. Right. So I can't do everything that they would do. And so after going through many different industries and ending up in insurance for you know, almost 18 years, I developed my own playbook. And um, my people that came to work with me were very successful. And because we did things differently. We built relationships. We built long-term relationships. And, and it was a lot of fun. But at some point, I knew that I wasn't being authentic. And that's my whole thing. That is really like, that should be my, my tagline, is being authentic. Because I knew what I was doing was not working. So I left everything that I did and jumped out without my parachute and started my company selling in a skirt. And it really started out to be just for women. Because women have the ability to earn much more money, to be much more successful, and yet we stop ourselves all the time. Or there's outside forces that stop us. And so I thought, if I could come back and be anything that I wanted to be, what would I be? And it would be a coach and a mentor and a speaker and everything. But I really, really, really wanted to work with women. And so I do. Now, the selling in a skirt part was I needed to find something that people would remember. And you know as well as I do, everybody remembers selling in a skirt. However. Be careful how you brand yourself, because I cannot be seen without a skirt. When I am, people call me out all the time, and they say, you know, where's your skirt? And um, I actually got called out in FedEx one day by a young man behind the counter in a very icy, snowy day where I was wearing sweatpants and boots and a baseball hat and a sweatshirt. And he said in front of everyone, it was right before Christmas, he said, yo, selling in a skirt, where's your skirt? And I looked around, everybody looked at me, and I said, well, I'm not selling today. He goes, oh, no, you tell us we sell every day. That was it. That was the last time I wore pants. <laughs> nice. Well, I mean, think about the, the impact of that. I mean, here it was, you had reached this person in, a, you know, in the marketplace, and they knew you a certain way, and yeah. they trusted you a certain way. So uh, I think that's awesome. It's great branding. It's excellent. And when you, when you look at what you're doing for your clientele, I mean, how are you influencing the women that you serve? Or it sounds like now more women, men as well. Part of the reason is I think you're a great decoder ring for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Well, you know, honestly, when I speak, because I'm, I'm a keynote speaker, when I speak, I speak to men and women. And what I talk about is the fact that we have differences. And you know, I know, your wife knows, my husband knows, we are different. And so if you understand the differences and treat them as differences, not as a liability, there's a much harmonious workplace or business that you can create. So when I do speak, I talk about that. I talk about differences. However, I also really get into some of the nitty gritty, some of the, the little things that you can implement today that can change the way that you work together, communicate, or sell. Because I really am a sales trainer. But I talk about with a little twist, I talk about it men and women. Well, but you're so good at the, the explaining the differences in the way that not just a, a woman thinks, but you're good at explaining that to a man. Right. So that it, it comes across as, oh, I get it. Now I understand what I should do or shouldn't do. And, and a lot of times with guys, I think it's, it's that we need to put our um, emotional dukes down, our defenses, and just go, wait a minute, there's something else going on here. Yeah, and, and, and I agree with that. I think another reason is that a lot of times men think that now they have to come up with a different training plan for women, and they have to devote more time to women, and women take much more time to close a deal. Well, that's all said and good. It's not two different training programs. We do take longer because we build relationships. And why wouldn't you want to build relationships with women? 
If we are, and I use this statistic all the time, if we actually are influencing 85% of all consumer purchasing decisions, wouldn't you want to know how to speak to us? Wouldn't you want to know how to make us help you come up with a solution? Because once we're part of the solution, we own it. So that's, that's all part of the whole process. And a lot of times, you know, men will say to me at the, after I speak, I now get what my wife is saying or I understand this. But the best one I ever had was when this man came up to me at the end of my talk and he said, you know, I realize why I have no women in my business. And it's actually because I have a sign that says Reader's Digest condensed version only. Nice. RCDV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've been asked for that before <laughs> because as a speaker talk, you know, is natural and they were like, time out. Give me just the Reader's Digest condensed version. Right. And you're absolutely right. There, amazingly, there were very few women in that department. Absolutely. So, I mean, when, when we look at where, when we come back from the break, one of the things we're going to be talking about is really um, how you've created this, uh, this level of success in your life. And, and really, well, folks, what you're going to learn is more about how Judy can help you create more success in your own life. And uh, women happen to be the other side of the race, so you're going to want to be back. <laughs> we'll be right back. Welcome back to the Business Spotlight. I'm here with Judy Hoberman. She is an author, a speaker, a coach, and a radio show host. She is affecting the nation in a way that is what I call a decoder ring for us guys to speak to women, and women to speak to guys. And women to speak to women. Yes. yes. I mean, let's not forget that because everybody assumes because you're female you can speak to other women. That's not true. It isn't true. There's women at all different levels, and, and a lot of times, you know, somebody that has a very high, powerful position doesn't know how to speak to the, the women that she is supposed to be mentoring, and the same way the other way. You're more intimidated by somebody that might have that position. So, you know, it's, there's all different ways of communicating. <laughs> so you do, you do keynotes, and you, you work with spe uh, specific clients, is what mm -hmm. I want to say. Um, so tell me about that. How does that work for you? You know, my true passion is really one-on-one. -on -one. I love that. And the reason I love it so much is because you get to see the light bulb. You get to see when someone gets it. And you really can hone in when they're going like, you know, I don't get that. But the easiest way to get your message out there is one to many. And so I do a lot of speaking. I do a lot of speaking. And, um, and again, I try to hone in on certain people. You know, you talk, they talk about walking with intention and creating all this kind of stuff. But truly what I try to do is I try to find somebody in the first row or two and talk directly to them and then find someone over here and do the same thing. Because even though I'm talking one to many, I'm also talking one to one. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the speaking. And it's, it's wonderful. And there's just so many different opportunities. And of course, people ask me to talk about bizarre things that really aren't in my you know, my, my qualifications, and then I just say, you know, that's not me, and I recommend someone else, because they love when I speak, because I'm funny. Right. I am. I'm funny. You I are. Am. You're I hilarious. I, I know. That. <laughs> but, um, but, but really, I love to do the coaching part of it, because you get to get, talk to women at different levels. Like, I talk to women that are just starting out, and I talk to women that are rock stars, and I talk to women that are trying to get to that next level, and how do they do that? Because it's not always about sales. Although that is the byproduct, and anything that you do to create, you know, more awareness of yourself, the bottom line changes. Right. So the coaching is, is probably one of my favorite things. Well, one of the things that you're a master at is persuasion, and that is selling to me. But for a lot of people, they think they, they have images of sales, and, and I go, no, no, it, just realize sell, selling is about persuasion. You become a master of persuasion, you become far greater negotiator you become far more effective in, in managing people. I mean, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I, I, persuasion is good. I like to call it invitation. Okay. Okay, I'm inviting you to do work with me. I'm inviting you to, you know, 
expand your brand. I'm inviting you to be more successful. And when you invite somebody to do it, yeah, the persuasion comes in, but it's a different, it's a different mindset. If I tell you that I'm going to sell you a coaching program, you already have your guard up. Yeah, I'm right. not buying anything. But if we have a conversation and I talk about, you know, I'm inviting you to do this for your life today as opposed to waiting till next year and the year after, it's very different. You know, you're totally right, because one feels like, in a sense, a form of manipulation. Absolutely. And you're saying authentic is all that counts. Mm -hmm. So it becomes the relationship and building that relationship to a level where you can have influence. Right. Is that what you're absolutely. saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because people want to be, you know, you have to have that respect both ways, but you also have to have the, you know, the no life trust. And when people trust you, they're going to open themselves up to more opportunities to work with you. And, you know, a lot of people say, well, I don't, I don't like to sell to people. I don't want to sell. But the point of the matter is if you have something that's important and something that's valuable, when you don't offer it and invite, you're doing someone a disservice. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a, a client, and um, she was leery about sales. She really was. And what she did was she decided to tweak what she was saying. So we went, we went through this whole thing, and all she did was invite somebody for a strategy session. Her closing ratio went from 20% to 80% by just tweaking a few words because she was too close to it. I was totally objective, and I kept saying to her, but you're, you know, you're not really even asking, and what, when you are asking, it's kind of like manipulative. So it changed, and you know, it changed for the better, obviously. Well, absolutely, and I mean, one of the things that I see in kind of the way that you work is that you probably have clients still today that you started with years ago. Mm -hmm. And I think it goes back to the relationship is what matters. Is, is that what you're trying to tell us? Absolutely. It's all about relationships. Think about the time when, you know, for me, I was selling insurance. I mean, how much fun is that? It really isn't. It's a necessity. Everybody needs it, but it's not fun. And so I have clients from when I sold insurance back in the 90s that are still on the books. Why? Because when they called me, I wasn't afraid to pick up the phone and say, how can I help you? How can I serve you? Where a lot of other people would say, if they're calling me, there's a problem. But I took time to build relationships. And so it was much different. It was much different. And it is different. I totally agree. One of the things that, that we want to make sure that people do know about is you have a special offer, I guess, on your website? I do, I do, I do. And it, it's actually, a, it's, a, it's an e-book. And it really is all about um, strategies and um, case studies. And it's called Skirting the Issues, obviously. <laughs> and um, it's, it's a free download for you. And I'll tell you the story about this at another point. But it's really just sellinginaskirt.com forward slash special dash offer. Oh, it on screen, it's on the screen. So it's and um, it's, it's a great book. It really is. And it's got some really good strategies on it. And that's why I said, you know, I like to do things that give you something to do today. That is, that is so good. I, I hope that you guys will go to get the, uh, well, this, this little e-book. You can print it up. And uh, it's just skirting the issues. Mm -hmm. So when we get back from the break, we're going to go deeper into, really, who's the ideal client uh, that uh, Judy works with? Yeah, this is the Business Spotlight. Judy Hoberman is my guest, and we're having a great time. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Business Spotlight. Today I'm interviewing Judy Hoberman. Judy is a good friend. She's an author, a speaker, a radio show host, keynote speaker. Oh my gosh, is there anything you don't do? I don't eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> there you Excellent. Go. Well, there you go. Uh, but I know that this segment, segment we really wanted to talk about uh, who's your ideal client or who's your message for. Uh, you've written several books. Tell us more. You know, my ideal client is going to be women. And the reason it's women is because I am one, and I can tell you how it feels to be one. It's like, you know, if you have an anesthesiologist who's male and he's giving you a spinal, he can't necessarily, because you're pregnant, he can't necessarily tell you this is how it's going to feel. Right. You know, so that's just, you know. But anyway, so. We get clueless like yes, that, you know. So th this is my first book, and this is called Selling in a Skirt. And the reason I wrote this book truly is because it was for women 
that were starting out in business, that were working in male-dominated fields, that really needed some help. However, it's really more for men. Okay, oh, really? because it's going to tell you all about women. And, and they here's can get your that decor. on your website. On my website. And they can get it on, on Amazon. Amazon. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So my ideal client, obviously, are women. However, I'm also an entrepreneur. And after four years in business, I totally made every mistake you could think of, and I even made some up. So my second <laughs> book is called Famous Isn't Enough. And what this book is really about is about every mistake you can make as an entrepreneur and the lessons learned. Okay, so that's what this one was. So, so this one is what I call purchased wisdom. Yes, purchased <laughs> wisdom, and it, you know it's it's funny. You can pay for it, you know, by by getting it on Amazon or your website, or you can pay for it. Or right? you can pay for it because yes, I paid paid Much dearly, more expensive paid deal. dearly. <laughs> but my ideal client is going to be there. There are women that, and I, like I said before, they're either just starting out and they need you know a path, or they are those rock stars that are just amazing and they just want to hone it in and, and make sure that they're doing the right thing sure. to get to the next level or they're in management and they want to go even higher okay so the third book that I wrote which is really a compilation book is called pure wealth 26 crazy ways to profitability and it's all about um, it's 26 women that wrote this book and it's all about our definition of pure wealth because everybody's definition is different Right. Okay. Right. So go back to the clients again. When you talk about women, everybody has a different motivating factor. And for women, it's not money. Not number one. It could be three or four or five, but it's not number one. What we want is we want recognition. We want to be able to um, make a difference, bring value. And that's what pure wealth is to us. Okay. So when you ask about my ideal client, it's somebody that wants to be able to communicate and to be able to connect and be able to earn not only what they want, but what they truly deserve in an authentic way. Right. So I put together, I help them to come together and put an authentic selling system that can really propel their careers. Well, one of the things that I see in there is that you really want to work with, and I'm going to use a phrase, it's, it's world changers, mm -hmm. but realize your world is whatever you make it. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's your family, it's the city, it's the nation, it's the world. I mean, whatever you, those people are the ones that a slight adjustment can make their universe rock. Is Absolutely. that what it, you're, is that what Absolutely. you're talking about? Absolutely. And a, that's what I said before, you know, a lot of times we're so close to the situation that we can't figure out how to get out of our own way. And, you know, a lot of times women are promoted because they're female. And right. I am, you know, a perfect case of this. I was promoted originally because I was female. However, numbers don't lie. So when you started to see the numbers, they're thinking, okay, so yes, yeah, she is a female, but she's also really good at what she does. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of women have issues with either not speaking up or not negotiating or not tooting their own horn or whatever it is, and that's where a coach comes in. That's where somebody can really listen to you objectively and say, you know, let me help. Well, one of the things that I'm curious about is the, I've run into working with a lot of different people in different areas. And unworthiness mm -hmm. tends to creep into that keeping them back. Now, that's it. I will tell you, guys and gals, it doesn't really matter. It shows up. Mm -hmm. But I wonder, have you dealt with that or do you deal with that in some of the things you're talking about? Yeah, I mean, almost anything, any situation will come up. Uh, you know, one of the things is what motivates people? So why are they complacent or why are they not doing what they could be doing? And a lot of it is around motivation. And so many people don't even know how to motivate their teams. Well, here's the biggest secret of them all. Ask. Ask what motivates you because what motivates you and what motivates me are two different things. So how can you help me get to my path if you don't know what motivates me? Is it, is it a, how do you set up a safe environment for somebody to create that question to be asked? So if, if, uh, if I'm working with the Reader's Digest Condensed Version guy, <laughs> yeah. okay, and I was go to, and and he was come to me and asked me what motivates you. Okay, there's an intimidation already at work because of the relationship, already sucks. Right. How do you create that? You have to go in and you have to create the relationship. And so you may have to take a step back and say, okay, so I can't really ask that question because no one's going to give me that answer. So let's have a, let's start to build a different kind of relationship and a work relationship and. You know, uh, what I used to do is I would say, tell me three things that you want to offer me, and I'll tell you three things that I can offer you, and let's see how we can work together. Interesting, because I, I also would look at, it, are there any um, triangles that could be created? In other words, if I can't reach this person because
because of damage done before. Is there somebody in HR, is there somebody else in the company that can direct that? So, you know, as well, I, I tell you folks, I, I hope you're learning a lot here because Judy is a wealth of wisdom, great keynote speaker. I've heard her speak, she's hilarious and effective of all things, if you could imagine somebody <laughs> that's funny and effective, but that's the way she is. So I hope you get her to uh, speak at one of your conventions or something. This is Pat Dewar. We have one more segment. We'll be right back. back to the Business Spotlight. Today we are roaring through a, uh, a, a show with Judy Hoberman. She is a, a keynote speaker, a coach, an author, a radio show host, and now my guest. And so I'm so thankful you're on here again. And we've done a few of these. So we I'm have, excited. and we always have fun doing it. And sometimes it's funnier than others, and <laughs> sometimes it's unexpected what comes out. Well, it's your fault, because <laughs> I, I don't claim to be funny at all. So. Let's talk about how, how people can connect to you. And what I, I really want to know this too. It's not just that go to my website. No. There's an onboarding process. If somebody yeah. really wanted to work with you, they will really see themselves as that, that I'm going to call it that world changer in their mm -hmm. universe. How can they work with you? What's the onboarding process? Okay, so pay me a million dollars and I'll take you on. Okay, because <laughs> that, that's, that's really what you see all the time is if you pay me, I will work with you. I don't do that. Here's what I do. I invite you to a strategy session. Okay. And we do you know, a 30-minute strategy session where I will try to uncover some of the challenges that you have and try to come up with some kind of a game plan immediately. And then we decide how we want to work together. So I have things that, uh, you know, I have a sales club that's for really for newbies. You know, just that they need some kind of a little bit of attention every morning, some kind of little one-minute video or maybe an audio and something like that. I also have um, a, an e-learning platform and that's more for sales professionals that just want to hone in on their skills a little bit. And then we go to coaching. And the coaching really is, as we were saying before, something that um, I love. I love to do, and I, I work with some amazing women. But beyond all that, I have a radio show. And radio hits so many people. It, it just, it's amazing. And it's, on, uh, it's a blog talk station, and it's Selling in a Skirt with Judy Hoberman is, is the name of the program. And we talk about amazing topics, and they all have to be valuable to women. My guests are not always women. My, uh, my guests could be men. I've as been long, on there. Yes, absolutely, as long as there is a message. Okay? And then you go back to you know, something like the books. I mean, if nothing else, read the book. Right. You know? and, and, and there's many times during the year that I give books away, so you have to stay in touch with me. So, <laughs> because I do, I give things away. I give things away to a fault sometimes, and people yell at me, they go, you can't make any money if you give things away. I am a mentor. I am really there to serve, and, and that's what I do. And there's so many things on my website that you can start with that are free to download, free reports. One quick question. What's one story of somebody that has worked with you, you were able to coach them, and what was the result of that? Okay, so I actually was coaching a woman who, um, a young woman starting out in sales, and she was very nervous, and she was, uh, you know, her whole persona she thought was the way she looked which is true with most young women. And, you know, and so we talked about it and talked about it. And this was on the phone, so I hadn't met her. And when I finally got to meet her, I was expecting what she was telling me. And I didn't see that at all. I saw the most professional young woman that I could ever see. Mm. And I said that to her. I said, you are an amazingly professional woman. You dress beautifully. Your presence, you walk in a room, and people want to be around you. And so what we did was we just, again, we had to change her mindset. And the mindset is the first thing you have to adjust. And once we did that, her sales, her whole career started going on an uphill swing because it was no longer that I was just cute and young and you know, people like me because of that. No, she's brilliant. She's a brilliant woman. You know, I so agree with that because what, what happens is that when somebody finally accepts the truth, mm -hmm. this, the chains snap and, I mean, they can breathe again. And there's a different image of who they are. 
I, I, I mean, I know that I had the same thing happen to me when I was about 39 years old. Little adjustment. And all of a sudden, I was like in a different river, finally flowing with the stream. <laughs> but, you know, the problem was that nobody ever told her how good she is. And, you know, I mean, in sales, it's a very lonely profession. You know, you get in your car, and you're hyping yourself up, and you get to your appointment, and then you, you're on, and you talk, and whatever. And then you get back in your car, and you're, you know, it, it, it's very lonely. And so nobody ever said to her, yeah, you know, you are amazing. And that's the one thing I tell people. Tell someone how great they are, because we don't tell ourselves. Women don't necessarily say, man, I'm awesome. I mean, I try to tell myself that every single day. And I still, like, oh, I, people go, yeah, yeah. But I really want people to tell the women, that, especially women, the women that they're working with or in a business situation, tell them something great. I, I will call a company and thank them for something that they've done. And the first, the initial response that I get when I say, may I talk to the owner, is this very you know, pushback. And they say, what is this about? And I say, well, I'd like to give them some feedback. And immediately they think it's negative. And I did it for my husband's birthday because somebody baked him this amazing cake and I had to ship it and everything else. And I called and I spoke to the owner and he said, what's the problem? And I said, I just wanted to thank you. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. And you could hear him take a deep breath and go, really? Because nobody ever tells me that. Amazing. So people should connect to you on SellingAskirt.com. SellingAskirt.com. <clears throat> they can get the free, uh, the special free gift? If you don't get this, there's two ways to get this. You can get this by downloading it, sellinginaskirt.com forward slash special dash offer, which should be on the bottom of the screen. Or you can actually pay for it. Your choice. <laughs> I would say get it for free. free. Is good. Download. It's for free. And it's really, it's a, it's a very cool offer. The books? The books, you can get them on Amazon. You can get them on my website. Um, when I speak, I always have books with me. So if I'm in your area, you know, you can always get books from me. And the radio show is on uh, Mondays at noon central. Mondays at noon. And the, the other thing, though, is that you do offer a, a way for somebody to talk to you for Absolutely. a little bit of time. Ask, if you want a strategy <clears throat> session, go on my website and contact me or email me. I answer my own emails. It's judy at sellinginaskirt.com. And I will set up a strategy session with you. What a novel idea. You actually answer your own emails. I do. Judy, it's always an honor. Yeah, thank you. I look forward to it. We've got a couple more shows with you and that are uh, that'll be coming up over the next few months. Yeah. And uh, this is the business spotlight. Hopefully you've gotten a few tips, tools, and techniques. If nothing else, get the free offer. I mean, free is good. And uh, <laughs> maybe we'll you'll learn something new, which is what this show is really all about giving you tips, tools, techniques to help you grow your business right now. I'm Pat Dewar, Business Spotlight. We'll talk to you.